everybody, Ananias here, and today we're going to take a look at Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Now, several things of note here. One is, I've kind of decided, I think, or at least I'm going to try, uh, something new. And, and that is, I'm only going to take, or, or do one take of, of these recordings. In, in the past, I've kind of been, you know, there, there's, I'll redo a, a lot of the videos, or actually every single one I've done. I, I think I've done more than once, except for maybe some in the... Uh, Vestile uh, series, um, and I feel just feel kind of feel like it just kind of takes something away from it that I really would like to make sure stays included, and that is just kind of this. I, I don't know how to word it. It's just kind of this. It, it's it's just a different kind of feeling that or vibe that I'm trying to trying to get a hold of, and, and I think just doing a single take, um, I, I think it's just gonna honestly, I think it's gonna do better. Um, and it would just whatever comes out of my mouth just comes out of my mouth and just that's just going to be it. <laughs> so, um, but something else with this game in particular, it doesn't fit with my standard kind of MO um, as far as the, the games that I, I normally choose um, but for this uh, for this channel. Uh, in, in that it is not rare, um, it is not uncommon, it's not, it's not expensive, it's not any of those things. Uh, this game you could probably find complete for God, probably under fifteen dollars. I, I know I've seen it for sale for fifteen bucks. I don't know if that's a great price or not because I've seen it multiple times in that price range. So, but you might be able to get it cheaper. But anyway, so this this was my introduction to uh, survival horror, <laughs> as far as I was concerned growing up. So um, we're gonna we're gonna kind of take a gander at this and and see what happens now. The reason I stopped it on this screen, um, this is probably this is probably the earliest game that I'm aware of, or and, and it could be. I mean, you know, this isn't something that you normally see in video games. And what I'm getting at here is that you choose the difficulty um, of the game from this screen, which is is really it's not intuitive let's put it that way I, I'm sure it was in the instructions I, I've got the box um, somewhere I, I do have the complete version of this I am playing this on actual hardware um, and crap I should have thought of this um, before I started this I don't have the um, overlays in the controller for those of you who don't know the Intellivision controller looks like your standard phone keypad with a disc underneath it it looks like it's analog. It, it's not. It's but anyway, that's a whole other thing. Uh, but anyways, there's little um, overlays you slide onto the controller that tells you what all the buttons do. Um, now I know what most of the buttons do, but I don't know what all of them do. So it might be a little bit of a trial and error. But you, we're just going to run with it. Um, again, I am playing this on original hardware. It took me just a minute to try to get it the, to. Uh, <laughs> It to do the way that I wanted to, and I'm probably going to do two videos on this particular game. But with that being said, how you select the difficulty it depends on what button you push, and it is not on the overlays. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead because I, I I did test this first because I needed to re remember what button selects easy <laughs> because uh, yeah it's well anyway yeah we'll, we'll, I'm going to show you the game here. But if you push number three on the pad, it brings you to what this looks like. So, but you've got this mountain over on the right. It looks like it's got a propeller on top, and I I can only assume that's smoke. Um, but anyway, as you'll notice, the the mountain on the very far right there is gray. Um, that indicates it's the on the easy difficulty, and I don't know why you have to put three on the no, number pad. I have, I don't know. But if you ever push a button and that mountain is purple. That's bad news. That's the most difficult level, and I think it goes. It would, I know it goes gray is the easiest. The second um, most difficult, I want to say, is blue, and then the third most difficult is red, and fourth is purple. Purple is a nightmare. Now, another thing that's really cool about this game is that what you're looking at here is randomized to some degree. The the map. So whenever, if I were to restart it, push the exact same button on the keypad, the little rivers and the little gates you can see in the mountains and, and that you know the the green the forest is what it is in the bottom center there um, all that stuff is going to be randomized to a degree so um, you can see there's a house there on the far, very far left 
uh, with some flashing lights. And that indicates that I have, um, I still have all my lives and there, because there's three flashing lights. So um, those are my, my lives or whatever. And so you move around the board as I'm doing right now. And whenever you get close to mountains, they'll light up. Wow, two blue mountains, that kind of sucks. What you're really looking for here is a gray mountain. Um, and please tell me, wow, that's probably the worst starting thing that I've. <laughs> I re okay, you know what? I I'm just I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna hit reset and I hope it not mess up the the. Um, I don't want to do that. Okay, so okay, two gray mountains. That's fine. That's actually what we're looking for. The gray mountains. Um, don't have anything special in them other than just extra arrows. Um, so, which is what we're going to look for. And, and it, okay, so this is the overview. Let me back up just a hair. This is the overview. So, the actual game happens whenever you actually step into these mountains. Um, and, God, this game gave me nightmares when I was growing up. I, I didn't mind watching somebody play it, but good Lord, I didn't want to play it myself. The Red Mountains, I think, if I remember correctly, the Red Mountains have have an axe hidden in them with a boss, basically, you have to beat. The Purple Mountains have um, keys, so that would be what would get me through those two gates. The whole goal here is you're trying to get your little flashing lights over to that big mountain with the propeller on it. So we're going to jump into this gray mountain, uh, again, to, to grab some arrows. Okay, let me. I'm gonna need to turn the volume up just a hair on this so I can actually hear it. Now, I don't, hopefully, you guys can hear that sound. That's a bat, and we're gonna kill it. Okay, so I shot an arrow and killed that bat. Um, basically, the creatures that are in here kind of move around just on their own. Um, some animals make sounds, others don't. So this is my dude. I. I it looks like a big letter P, but he's. It's a dude with a bow. Um, I've already used one arrow, so need to. The, the whole goal in this gray mountain is pick up as many arrows as you can, and then you just go to the exit. This is what drove me insane. Some of these animals don't make sounds, and as you can see, you can barely see right in front of your face, like right there. That's going to open up as soon as I get to that next step. Okay, there we go. There's hidden hidden passages sometimes like or right here I might be able to, well I don't think you can right here but push down and and it just kind of opens up into another area you can shoot into the, like the the stuff you can't see um, but if it bounces off a wall it can bounce back and hurt you yet yeah, your your own arrows will <laughs> do a number on you on that purple uh, purple difficulty level. The stuff is so fast, it's unbelievably difficult. Okay, like that. Like I got close to the edge and it, it opened up here. So on the keypad, um, the, the direction you shoot uh, is, it corresponds to the numbers on the pad. So if I wanted to shoot up here, I would push the number two because it's directly um, up, if you will, on the, on the keypad. So eight would be down, four is to my left, six is to my right, but you can shoot diagonally too. So you know, one would be up and to the left, etc. Now that purple guy is a blob, and they're invincible. They're just super slow, but you cannot kill them. Um, wow, no arrows yet. And there is another gray mountain we might need to jump into. And like I said, I plan on doing more than just one video on this particular this particular game uh, again because this one's so near and dear to my heart. It. It took me a little while not to figure out how to do the video uh, recording. Okay, that's nothing. That's just a skull with some droppings, I guess. Because um, I knew how to do the video. The problem, the problem was. Okay, you hear that? That's a lizard. So you just got to kill the lizard. Now, here's what I'm a little. I don't know because I didn't grab the overlay. I'm not sure what button picks that up. Okay, it's clear. <laughs> now you hear that sound? That's actually a snake, um, which is a little uncommon, if I remember correctly, to see in um, in these gray levels uh, or gray mountains. Now there's a button I can push where I can count how many arrows I have. I, don't know, I think it might be enter. It's not enter. Maybe it's five. 
Okay, it's not five. Maybe it's zero. There we go. You hear that ticking sound? Each tick is an arrow. I know, it's not, not the most efficient thing on the planet. But you hear that? Do you have any idea how terrifying this is when you're six years old and there's not like... You know, there's, there's no such thing as Skyrim yet, okay? It's everything is just nightmarish because it's just off the screen. Crap. Okay, see how slow that thing is moving? Oh, number one, it took two hits, which not every en enemy does. Uh, but snakes do. Uh, demons, dragons take three. Um, but in on the purple level, that thing would have lit me up. Like, they move so fast. It's... It's that much worse. It, it just, it truly is. Okay. Um, but yeah, the uh, the Intellivision is kind of a really cool system. Um, and I say that not just because I grew up with it, but it's actually the first, at least to my knowledge, is the, f okay, there's a bat. The first mass produced 16-bit um, CPU the CPU 16-bit console, and which is just crazy to to think about, but it's just it's this system is just great proof that bits just don't they don't equate to better graphics necessarily. Now, for at the time, you know it was it was crazy, but I, no one's going to confuse this with the Super Nintendo. I mean, it's just it's just not going to happen. Nope, go that way. Okay, it's some more arrows. We really want as many of these things as possible. Oh, and I haven't played this in a long time, so the little disc that I'm using to move the the guy is uh, it, it may be a little dirty or what have you. But anyway, that's the exit. So when I'm ready, I just stand on that and I push. I think enter. But I, again, I'm here to get arrows. So that's a spider. Um, and as you can see, he kind of nibbled on me, and you might have heard a little tick sound there so not all enemies create the same amount of damage so the spiders barely hurt you I think the lizards hurt you a little bit more the blob thing that I mentioned before that's invincible that moves real slow that thing is, is if it touches you man it's over like okay you know what now well, I'm not gonna trust this disc pad to see yeah no left to uh, to actually not kill me if I get near that thing so okay Let's go down this way. Okay. Alright. Okay. You know, this is a lot less stressful. Um, well, I'm sure partly because I'm older, but I, what I was going to say is this is a lot less stressful just knowing that I'm only going to do one take and it's just going to go and that's just kind of the end of it. <laughs> this is a lot more fun. Um, and I, I don't have any intention on, on stopping this unless something like crazy is happening. Like, I, I don't know. I, you hear something like in the other room or something. I don't know. The cat gets stuck in a blender or something. I, <laughs> that sounded horrible. But anyway, what I mean is if, if something is crazy is going on in the other room, you know what? I'm just going to drop the controller. I, won't, I, won't, I still won't stop the, the feed. That's how serious I am about this. Um, I, so I'll just, uh, you know, I'll go rescue the cat. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, I don't even know if I own a blender. Maybe I might need to go buy a blender so I can keep my cat from getting in it. Okay, here we go. Ah, that thing always scared the crap out of me when I was growing up, too, just because it's like, okay, you know what? All right, I'm going to shoot off screen here. Oh, well, okay. I was going to, but... All right, let's see here but I do have every intention on continuing this um, at least to completion on this particular difficulty oh, okay I just hated the anticipation I remember playing this one time I was living up in New Jersey at the time and it was one of the very first times that um, <laughs> that, I, that I played this um, I, that I actually played the game and I remember my folks were were uh, in the room with me and they were watching me play and of course I'm like you know edge of my seat you know biting fingernails and all everything else and there was a knock at the front door and so you know it, you don't really pause it I mean there's no pause button you just kind of stand here and you hope something doesn't 
kill and murder you while you're, you know, off doing something. But anyway, there was a knock at the front door, and I went to the front door, and there was this uh, this little kid. Of course, I'm a little kid at the time, but there's a little kid standing there, and she, she's trying to sell me Girl Scout cookies. I'm like, I don't want any Girl Scout cookies. I, I'm sitting there thinking, I got things to do. I got monsters to slay. And uh, so I sent her on her way, and then my folks had, whenever I came back into the living room, my folks had, so like, oh, who was that? And I was like, oh, is this girl selling Girl Scout cookies? And I told her to go pack, and it's basically what I said. And they're like, wait, what? Well, no, we want Girl Scout cookies. Why would you do that? And I was like, I'm busy. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, it's just, um, so they made me run back and, and, you know, holler at the girl, but no, come back. We need Thin Mints or whatever. So... Okay, I, I'm just going to go back to the exit. I don't know. Let me see. If I can locate it again. Yeah, see, and notice there's no... Oh, and the maps are generated completely randomly, by the way. Um, I mean, completely, completely randomized. Um, and so I feel like this might be an early game for that, too. I do not know where I'm going. Because, um, you know, games like Zelda and stuff, which were, are fantastic, don't get me wrong, but they... Uh, there wasn't any randomized randomization of it, uh, not that I'm aware of anyway. I do not know where the crap I'm going. Let's see here. All right, well let's. And it does over if you haven't noticed yet. It it does obviously repeat itself at this point. Once you know it it wraps around. There we go. So I'm kind of going to the left here, and I'll kind of go vertically until I spot that ladder there it is All right. the, the, the worlds aren't he aren't too big so okay so we got out of here let me count my arrows real quick I don't think there's any more in here I think I've, I've found everything okay not a ton of errors so maybe we do end up going into that gray mountain but so you stand over top of this and you hit yep you hit enter and so now that mountain is conquered and you can from here on out going on this board you can travel over top of that but realistically, I think that I'm end up going up into the Gray Mountain, that other one, just to make sure I have enough arrows. Because a lot of these other mountains, the other colored mountains, um, they're going to have a few arrows in them, but but not a whole lot. And uh, cause really, their main purpose is to find that special item that's in there. The Blue Mountains have a boat. The Red Mountains, again, I'm pretty sure that's an axe. And the Purple Mountains are have keys. And so those things allow you to basically transverse the, the the board just different ways to get to that gray mountain um, you don't you know you don't always have to have to get all of them it's just a matter of getting there so that blue mountain right there that I could jump into the only thing that's going to help me do is go on top of the water the, those little blue squiggly lines that are kind of in the top right and the top left there that's all that's going to do for me but uh, but anywho so I'm going to stop the video here I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, this particular video, but also the kind of the way that I'm going to be doing things from here on out. It's a little more of a, I guess, I'm hoping more of a, a little bit of a podcast type vibe. Um, and it certainly, I think, is going to be a lot less stressful on me. So, But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, everybody, uh, take care.